Hello. Hello. Oh, Shamila, you Hello. can relax. <laughs> I'm a little tired tonight. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Um, we'll try to we'll, we'll try to make it a quick one. Okay. <laughs> All right, Elsa. Hi, right, Michelle. Yeah, hi. Hello. I have a question. Um, good so, evening. Slow down. Or... I just said hi. Slow down. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would like to know the Monday the class start at eight p.m. Yes. Yeah. Ah, okay. Because I did not know I was rushing and I came and I didn't know I was online. I think oh, I Oh, you've been here since six o'clock waiting for the Zoom to start? I am so yes. sorry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, Wednesday we spend like, you know, the whole almost three hours. Mm -hmm. So Mondays, you know, would just be, you know, not as long. Mostly it's to review our work. So. So Shamila, I see you said you submitted something, right? You want to share your screen and show us what you got? Sure. Okay, I'm clicking share. Desktop. Oh. Okay, there we go. Can you see the screen? Yeah, it's coming. Oh, wow. You did this all by yourself? I did. I swear I did. But it took me like a whole day, but I did it myself. <laughs> are, you, are you sure you didn't steal my notes? <laughs> <laughs> no, I did it myself. Um, I did follow the video, somebody, cause, but you know what I had trouble with? I, I had trouble with um, grouping the pictures inside the circles. So if I was to move this, I don't want to move it now because then I might <laughs> mess it up. But if I move this, like it'll move, it wouldn't move as a group. So I had issues grouping. Okay, well, could you zoom in so we see the whole page? Like if you use sure. the bottom, the bottom right slider. Yeah, oh. there you go. Just a little bit. The bottom right, like. Yeah, use the minus, the minus or the. the oh, the minus. minus. Yeah. Out, rather zoom out. What I meant. Okay. Yep. Wow. How do you get the um the water drops up there? I use um. Yeah, it's a shape. It's a teardrop shape. And you know how we can um rotate it and stuff like that. How you showed us how to rotate, and then you showed us how to like press the shift to make it bigger so it can stay in place and stuff. Yeah, it's a lot of text boxing in this. So. <laughs> Oh yeah. I yeah. use a lot of text box. Um, yeah. <laughs> I have a question. I see so interesting work. Very beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Really? Congratulations. I have a question. I'm having trouble to put um uh, <laughs> I tried but I couldn't to put look like you have a circle and you have a square inside. Uh -huh. I'm trying to put a square inside another square to look like a box, uh, um, small box to put text a box, text box. text box, yeah. Text box, yes. To yes. I, I couldn't. I'm trying to do that since yesterday. <laughs> I, I, it has been terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I just use a shape, the circle shapes, and then I use a text box to put inside of the shape. And then I put the picture inside of the text box. Yeah, I tried yeah. to do it, but I couldn't. Mine is square. I tried to put a square text text box to add the picture inside. But whenever yeah. I do that, that shows up. I look like all opposite to it. All the place. Oh. <laughs> so, Shamila, one question for you: Could yes. you do this before this class? Before <laughs> you know, or you know, you had this experience before? No. So what I did, I had, I took a Microsoft class, but it was nothing like what you're teaching. Like we didn't make flyers. We didn't do anything like that. It was more so like um, tabs and paragraphs and, you know, learning using um, 
what is it, the rulers and stuff like that for words. So it wasn't really like, we wasn't doing pictures or anything like that. But they did teach so us PowerPoint. Do you have any, any hands-on projects and stuff? Yeah, no hands-on projects as far as like this. This was actually fun. It was a little frustrating at first, but then when I watched a video, I had to keep pausing the video and yeah. <laughs> did you do this bottom sure. thing too? Yeah. Sure, mm -hmm. So the bottom is just like the bottom, the white part is just the regular um, blank page, like how he showed us how to do a um, text box over the whole page. So it's just half and then that little square piece, that's just a shape added um, with the lines, without no lines. Yeah, and then I just, um, could you click, could you click on that bottom, uh, what Michelle was asking, let's click around and let's see what the individual pieces if we can. Okay. So right here is a text box. See? Oh. I can move it. It's good. It's, I don't want to move it and mess it up because I'm going to have trouble like, you know, but um, it's a text box. This is also a text box. See, all this under here is just text boxing and I can show y'all my little secret with this. See, it's just another text box. And then this little um, triangle thing is another shape filled with white. Yeah. And then I took the lines out and placed it on top of the other line. Yeah. Yeah. You did good. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> it took me about an hour and a half. That's to, it? Yeah. Just so, <laughs> and then the lines is just um you go in the shapes you add a line shape right here. Where is it? Where's my insert? And go to shapes. Oh, wrong one. Sorry, I'm on the couch. <laughs> so shapes and then the lines, and you can put it anywhere, and then you can just rotate it to be horizontal, vertical. Yeah, that's how I did the lines. Yeah. Wow, this is, this is, I mean, you must be proud of yourself for this, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, because I, I still feel like it didn't come out like the picture, but I had, I couldn't find the colors for the water drops and stuff like that. And often how I got this at the top, I had to take the header out. I, that's the only thing I cheated on. I Googled how to take headers out because I forgot how to delete the headers. I don't think that's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> it's all being created, right? Yes. Wow. Well, I, I'm blown away. Really? Wow. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I can't even, I spent, <laughs> I spent hours, hours and didn't even come close. Uh, let's see what Michelle's got. Okay. Oh, God. Wow. That is, uh, Elsa, what do you think? That's like super professional, right? Excellent. She did Thank excellent. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm really not blanking. <laughs> yeah, you know, if we can, you know, master the skills and practice frequently, I mean, you're going to enhance your value in some of this, um, you know, some of these tools. I'm sure. But I thank you. You, you teach as well. You taught me. You taught us well. I followed the video, and it helped a lot. Yeah. Well, you guys, are, you guys are patient. You know, this takes a lot of patience. Yes. Oh, nice. Oh, look at, look at nice. Great. No. <laughs> but I mean, this could took you, me. Could you zoom, zoom, zoom? Oh, where did you find a water drop? Nice. Oh, it's done the... Wow, that's cute. Could I mean, zoom, I had... Could you zoom had... out on the screen? Like the uh -huh. bottom left, bottom right of your screen. If you could zoom out. Use the sliders. All the way to the right, bottom right. Oh. Uh. Okay, use the minus sign. There you go. Um. Okay. Nice. So I had such a hard, I mean, even, I honestly, I don't know what was going on. I was trying to, even just copying and pasting for some reason, just the circles yeah. was not 
they weren't working right. Um, I watched the video over and then I tried to recreate it. It didn't work. So then I had to try to do the circles individually and try to make them even. And for some reason, when I, when I would, I would do a text box and try to take a picture from the online and, and they wouldn't go in the text box. So, and then everything kept ending up in the left hand corner of my top left hand corner of my page all the pictures and then i yep. couldn't get them out of the left hand corner mm -hmm. they wouldn't drag out of there and they would just get stuck up there and i ended up having to delete them and then it was like everything kept things kept overlapping in i don't even know i mean this took me hours i all day saturday um like a couple hours yesterday right before this meeting wow, super, super bowl sunday <laughs> <laughs> oh. listen i didn't care less wow. um this was just i mean just because everything just kept i was like okay like i i kept doing what i thought i was supposed to do but it just everything just kept not going in the text boxes and yeah. even just trying to just just like right before the meeting, I was like, okay, I'll just put some um, some writing under here. So I put a text box under there, and um, and it wouldn't stay um, horizontal. It just kept going diagonal, and I was like, why is it doing that? Why won't it just stay horizontal? Hey, what it to be, right? Yeah. Um, it's very frustrating. So how did you how did you get these pictures in the circles? I mean, you, you went, I mean, you were kind of like, you're on, you, you know, you're on track. But yeah. How did you do that? This one, listen, I don't know. Like, this, this one came in, like, this one, like, I finally, like, a few of them, for some reason, like, I shrunk this one down, and I, I went in front of the tech, in front of the, um. you know, I hit the little um, yeah. thing on the side. To, and, to or something, yeah. Yeah, and I, I did in front of the text. Um, so I got it inside the circle, but then like, um, I tried to get one in here and it came over here at first, like in back of here, in back of this little thing. And then the little box wouldn't come out. It wouldn't, um, so I couldn't do in front of, in front of text to get it. And then yeah. it wouldn't drag over, like I couldn't get it to drag over. And so it was like, I don't know, pretty much kind of hit or miss, but like sometimes it would work, sometimes it wouldn't. Yeah. Uh, sometimes it would end up in this quarter and it wouldn't come out at all. And I'd have to delete, 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 and then try to get another one, get another one. And um, I was very frustrated, but I, I kept doing it. Um, and I got three of them. When I got actually these three, I was psyched. Oh yeah, I mean, I, just it's, it's a happens. blessing, right? <laughs> it looks to me like, you know, it looks to me it's a work in progress. So mm -hmm. I was going to say, Michelle, just complete it. <laughs> well, yeah, you know what I'm this, this is like, I'm, I'm done, right? Yeah. But you know I what, don't, you know what, Michelle? I don't know, is there a reason why it's doing that? Like why, when I do a text box, why it's not going, why the pictures aren't going in the text box? What am okay, I doing? Uh, you, could you click on that um, water drop? No, no, click on the water drop. Okay. Now, notice that it has that box around it. Mm -hmm. Now move your now move your mouse to the edge of it and then move the box a little bit. Just shift it. There you go. Shift it. In fact, put it in the center circle at the top. Move it to the top. Yeah, right there. Okay. You can use your keys to, you know, to move it to the left or to the right if you want your keys on your keyboard. Okay. Now here's what's happening. Uh, you know, you could reduce the, the size of that box because it looks like it's oversized. So make it smaller. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so it's kind of, is it grouped with the picture? Could you no. see if you can click inside to get a hold of that dro uh, water drop? Is it? Is it can you go inside or is it just one item? 
Mm. So just... I mean, if you go inside to the to the uh, water drop itself, is that is that an individual object? Yeah. I mean, is it a separate object from the box out from the outside box? No, this is just you know. Th this. So that's the box that controls it. Yeah. Okay. So here's so here's something tricky. Now, for you to grab the white white circle behind it, right? Mm -hmm. You have to. It's kind of tricky because right now you can't reach that white box because this water drop is it's kind of like on top of it. Mm -hmm. So think about it as you have your hands right on you know like on top of the table. Mm -hmm. Well, I have to get get you know I have to get the top hand off the table to get to the other one, right? I got to move it out of the way. So it's going to be hard for you to get a hold of the white circle and group them the way you have it. It's going to be, in fact, it's probably impossible because it's the uh, what you might call it the the water drop is much bigger than the circle. So you cannot get to the circle. If the water drop was smaller, then you could highlight, you could select the water drop, hold down the shift key, and hold down the control, and then click the other one at the same time. So here's what I mean. Um, make it a bit smaller, make the water drop just a bit smaller. Keep going. We just want to demonstrate something. Okay, now push it up a little bit. Okay, now, all right, so hold on your control key and then go to the left side where you can reach the, the white circle and click it. The white circle, right there. No, 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 it's gotta be, you gotta click directly on the white circle. So click the, Okay, no, let's let's click the let's click the uh what should we call it? Let's click the water drop first. Okay, now hold down your control key. And now click on the white circle just off to the left. The white circle, right there, right there. You see that? Oh, uh, okay. Now now uh I think I think control G is what groups them together. Control G. Try if you see control G. Uh -huh. uh, G, did you do G? Is it control G? Yeah. Maybe not. Okay, cancel this. Okay, if you right click on, right on those two selections, it should give you the group option. Right click. There you go, group. Just click on group. Now, if you shift, if you move them, they're both going to move. That's what uh, Shamila had the problem with, I think. Yes, yes. So it was Control G. No. No, no, it's not Control G. I, 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 I have to. I forgot oh, what the command is. Okay. No, but once you group, once you select them, um, you select the first item. You hold on your control. You see, the thing is, each item is kind of an individual object. So you have to be able to reach to the item behind it or to the side of it to select that also. If you click uh, if you click through your object, it's not gonna pick it up. Uh, so if you try to click through it, it's not gonna pick it up. You have to kind of go on the on the outside of it in a sense, just like what you did. Because this uh, this objects they overlay oh, you know they overlay each other. So you, you got to kind of go behind it. So so generally you want to have in this kind of a situation you want to have a small size picture that goes into the larger size um, white box so you can grab each of them individually. Okay. So your question of why things keep sticking to the top left is because. By default, every time you import something into Microsoft Word, it's it's rigid. It stays in a rigid position, which is most times top left. So you can't really move it to wherever you want to move it. 
one of the ways to move it freely is to create a text box, right? And then you, so let me show you, let me walk you through that, Michelle. We're gonna see Elsa's work in a second. So just go to the bottom part of your, um, of your screen, just the white part. Okay, so actually, let's go to insert and let's, let's draw a text box. You see, that's fantastic. You know where that is? It's like boom, 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 boom. You know? <laughs> oh, I've, drew, I've drew, drawn a lot of them. <laughs> exactly. So, wait a minute. We're not seeing the bottom part. So, you got to kind of shrink it from the top. Okay, now, so grab a hold of it on the edge. On the edge of it. Nope, nope, nope. Right there. Okay, and then push it up. Right there, okay. Now, if you want to put a picture in here, you have to click inside. Okay, now let's go do insert. The online pictures and then look for what picture you want. Um, let me see. you see that all right now stop now click on the edge of that box of the text box you originally created now move it you see that i see what i did wrong so you so, have to click inside the box and then the picture will kind of become embedded inside the box mm. now the tricky part is how do you get everything to fit into this circle? So you've got a few options. Now you realize that, because we always got to be thinking about this. Right now you have two objects. Your flower is a different object from the text box. So let's grab a hold of the text box, click on the text box. Yeah, just double click on it so we can fix the properties. Okay, so at the top, Let's take out the uh, the field, the shape field. And no fill? Exactly. Now you shrink from the right side, you shrink that box. Uh, well, it's getting to, okay. Uh, no, you see, you're not doing it proportionally. So, so one second. So click in the picture itself, of course, if you want to make it smaller, probably. Remember, there are two objects, so now hold down your shift and shrink it. Hold down the shift key so you can shrink it, uh, shrink it proportionally. So grab it from the grab, grab it from one of the you know the corners. You want to make it smaller, right, or bigger? Michelle, are you trying to make it bigger or smaller? Bigger. There. Okay, so, okay, if you want to make it bigger, right, the text box has to be also expanded. So you got to be sure that your text box is bigger or larger than the item inside. It is, right? I don't know. Yeah. It looks like the text box, it looks like the, the picture is sticking out of the box. It shouldn't. Oh. So click in the picture. No, don't, don't click this. Just click the, the corners, just the corners, not, not the sides. Yeah, right there. So make it a bit smaller because it looks like it's too big to me. Make it smaller. A little bit more. Okay, fine. Okay, that's all right. Okay. 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 So now notice, uh, click away from there. Yeah, let's click away from there. 
I'm away. Yeah, click, just click away. Click some, click some other part of the screen. I am. Um, okay. So, so what we need to realize is when an item is inside a box, you have to control them kind of like, uh, you got to control, try to control them individually. But the flower cannot be much bigger than the box. If you keep expanding the flower or increasing the flower, it's going to, it's going to be cropped. So if you want the picture, the flower to be, you know, much bigger, then the text box itself has to expand, has to be much bigger, because the text box controls the positioning and the, you know, the final size of the picture inside. So it's two different things you've got to manipulate gently. So let's grab the text box now, because we want to put that flower in, in position. So if you click on the text box, just use your arrow keys to bring it down. Sometimes you get more precision that way, using your arrow keys to bring it down. And okay, here's the text box. Okay, so click on it and then use your arrow keys on your keyboard. But for some reason. You stop clicking? Yeah, okay, just click it once and then use your keys, your arrow keys to move it to the left or to the right. No, use your arrow keys, use your arrow keys. Don't drag it with the mouse. Okay. It's like they're click together. The huh? Click on the out yeah, click on the outer part of the text box. Okay, now use your now use your make sure you click on the box of the text box, not on the picture. Right. Okay, now use your arrow keys to see if you can push it up or down. No, you're clicking on the picture, not the picture, the, the text box. I'm not. Okay, the black line is the text box, correct? That's what. I guess so, yes. No, don't expand it. Don't expand it. Undo, undo. Yeah, what are you doing? I'm not sure what you're doing right now. I'm, I don't know. Now the whole. Undo, undo it. All you want to do is you want to select that text box outside the picture, outside the flower. That's, that's what I'm, so, that's what I'm going on. This... To be as precise as you, okay. That's it. Now use your arrow keys on your keyboard to bring it down. No, no, no. What, no, what you selected now, you selected the circle behind it. That's the circle. We don't need a circle. I, it's not doing anything. I don't understand. Okay, that's the box. Okay, now use your arrow keys on your keyboard to bring it down. And it's... When you use your arrow keys, it does that? Yeah. Okay, grab a hold of the box and push it, just move it to a different section. Not that, yeah, yeah, do that. Oh, wait a minute. 
you 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 sort of grouped it with the that's what's going on. You 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 maybe you accidentally grouped it with the with a blue background. See how it's moving together. Yeah, but how did I do that? Well, clicking, that's what I'm saying. Like know, things. Like, yeah. I don't yeah. Know. Well, don't worry about it. Yeah. So right click on the screen. Right click on the screen. I'm trying to see if we can find the on group option. I'm not sure how you. Okay, click a click a click a gray area of your screen. Um, yeah, the blue background is still being selected. Okay, you know what? Go, let's go back to undo and let's try to undo everything we just did. Yeah, let's we got to go back. You know, a little bit. Keep going. I think we'll get to that point. Uh, redo. What, what, what did you delete? Hmm. Okay. I'm not sure how we got to this part. Uh, it's not. So click again, click on the blue screen, click on the blue, uh, you yeah, know, the blue background. Okay. Click on the delete key. I want to see what goes off when you click delete. Click delete. Okay. All right. Now we can get we can always get the circle back. So click on the black on the black uh, outline of the text box. No, you're not clicking that. You see, you click the background of the blue. Um, try to use precision to click the just the text box. The black outline. Okay. You see, every time, if you don't click it correctly, you see how the blue outline, it, it gets selected? Oh, uh, all right. Okay, so try something. Use your, use your, wait, we'll stop. Use your arrow keys on your keyboard, to, you know, just the, the down arrow. Press the down arrow, what happens? Keep going. Uh, wait, are you holding down? How many keys are you holding? It looks like you're holding down a combination of keys. No, I'm one. No, just the what? down arrow. Just yeah. That. It, that. it shouldn't be doing what it's doing. We're just trying to. Okay, hit the delete key. Okay, now, now click on the blue background. Okay, see if you can shift it a little bit to the right, like halfway on the page. The blue background, the blue background. Oh. Use your arrow key, see if you can move it. Mm -mm. Are you using arrow keys? Mm hmm Okay, now. How did you create this blue background? It looks like there's something else on top of the blue background. You know what, hit the delete key. Let's see what goes away. Hit delete. So see, there was something else, Michelle, that was sitting down right on top of that blue background. I don't know what it was. It looks like some other box. So let's try to click on the, out, the text box for the flower. Just on the box itself. Okay, now use your arrow keys to come down. Let's see what happens. Okay, something is still, nope, something is still not right there. So undo. Okay, click on the blue background. Let's delete the blue background. No, on the blue background. No. Yeah, I was. Okay. All right. Now you've got some other things happening. Click on Control A. 
Just click Control A on your keyboard. Did anything happen? No. Okay. So let's get another text box for the background. Yeah, Word. Let's get another text box and let's create the background again. Looks like there were quite a few pieces that were in there that shouldn't have been there. So insert, it's all, it's all practice, so. Do I want it? No, no, oh, no, just, Michelle. No, 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 Michelle. Wait, stop, stop. But what are you doing? To, what when you're drawing this box? How are you doing it? Are you holding multiple keys? No, just okay. my mouse. Okay, so I don't know. Maybe it's the, it's because of the way it's the mouse pad, right? Because the mouse pad might give you some problems. I think. Uh maybe. Okay, so bring it down. All right, let's well, let's shrink it from the bottom. Shrink it from the bottom. Yep. Okay, now bring it back down. Okay, expand it from the left side. No, no, don't get to the edge. Don't get to the edge. Bring it in a little bit. Okay. Now let's fill it with color, shape, fill. Okay, now right click on it and let's send it all the way to the back. No, 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 don't go there. Why do you go there? Don't go there. On the on the picture itself, on the blue background. I'm sorry. Yeah, don't go. Yeah, we don't need that part. Okay. So if you right Hold click. On. Okay, right click and do what? Right click and select uh, send to back. Nothing's happening when I'm right clicking. Okay, place your mouse on the edge of it, on the edge of the box. See if you can get to the edge of the box. Okay, right there, right click right there. Nothing's happening? Okay, move your mouse up. Oh, top. wait, move here, no. copy here. No, it's a right click we want to do. I am doing right click. Okay, that doesn't happen. Go up top. You see where it says um, send backwards or bring forward? Right where you are, just go up top. To the, move to the right, to the right. Yeah. Yeah. So click the little drop down to the right side of it. Yeah. Bring so forward. Bring in, oh, actually we should send it to the back, right? Because, yeah. So let's, let's select the other option. No, yeah, send backwards. Okay, let's check, let's check, send behind text. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to grab those individual items to see if you can grab the water drop. No, no, no. You have to, you have to click away from, you have to click away first. Click away from the box. Like click a white click a click a white space outside the box. Outside the box. 
Yeah, out here. No, click a white space outside the blue oh. box. Okay, that's fine. Now let's click back on the water drop. It sort of grabs everything. I'm not sure why that's happening. It okay. should just be an individual selection. Yeah. It should be, a, I'm not sure if, you know, maybe the way the mouse pad is, but that's what, I think that's what's giving you some stress here. It, yeah. When you move your mouse, it seems to grab everything, but it shouldn't be doing that. I mean, I'll, I don't want to keep holding up this class. I mean, this is like, I feel like we've just spent this whole time on me and <laughs> feel bad. Um, well, I mean, we all need to, you know, grab this as much as possible, but I yeah. feel like there's something there with your mouse. If you had an external mouse, maybe that might, you know, be a different option just to see how you can select. Because the trick here is to be able to select individual items and then move them around. No, if I you, have an external you... mouse. I have a, um, I have a, a mouse mouse. Oh, so, all right. So what side of the mouse are you using? I mean, this might sound like a dumb question that I'm asking, but because the selections that you make, right? If you're using your left mouse or your right mouse, it does a totally different different job. No, I know the difference between a right click and a left click. I'm just I'm just wondering why in everything. You know, know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, I know. Like right click is my right side and then left click would be yeah, I know. Maybe try double clicking on a picture. Double click? No. That was a double. Oh, and it brought that up. Oh, mm -hmm. that's weird. That was a double. Yeah, right so click. Like what I'm trying to say, right? It doesn't seem yeah. to be selecting the individual object. Yeah, I see it. Hmm. It looks like it's grouped with something. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's all seems to be glued together. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So this I is kind if of there like was something when you started to build a program or build a flyer. Maybe you need to just start from scratch and see because the trick here is every individual object has to be able to move, especially if it's in a text box. It should be able to move freely without affecting I, other honestly, objects. Honestly, I would rather start from scratch than. <laughs> try to to be totally yeah. honest because i started yeah. from scratch twice and it was easier than trying to because okay. of times things well, you, got well you know what i mean right you know yeah. what i mean right by trying to 100 individual 100 yeah. percent. okay so right. basically so each right? circle is supposed to be two boxes in it yeah Yeah, every time something else just gets grabbed. So I'm not sure you know. Know, what, what's happened in the back end that we, you know, maybe something has been selected prior that we don't know about. Right, I so don't either. Scratch might be helpful. Elsa, let's yeah. see what you got and then we can. Actually, you know what, Michelle? You see those options that you select to the right, you don't yeah. need those options at all. Uh. I think. Yeah, I think those selections are affecting what you're doing. Uh, so, I want, yeah, okay. so I noticed that you, you, you kind of go back to that little box every once in a while. That is messing things up. Okay. Because it does a totally different job. Those, that little option does something totally different. Okay. So I'm just, I'm just kind of like guessing, but yeah. Wonder if I hit something there. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe, because you can tell that word is quite sensitive, right? It's like, ah, uh... okay, Elsa, let's see what you got, and then we can um, try to do a couple more things. So Elsa, you can share your screen. Uh, 
Tell us that don't need to panic. Just show us. Michelle showed us. Shamila showed us. <laughs> Just let's have it. You're muted. Ah, sorry. I don't have option to, to share my screen. I don't know what's going on. You still can't share your screen? No, I still, I don't know. What, I can, I can show you my, I can take a picture again and show you. The, oh. Elsa, you need to, you need to get somebody who's going to show you how to share your screen. No, I do share my screen in order to Zoom meetings. I don't know what's going on with your meeting. Because in order meetings, I do share my screen without problem. Oh, so it's, 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 it's our fault that you can't share your that, screen? Yeah, because I did share my screen out in one of the meetings till last week. I don't know what's going on. I can take a picture and show you. Um, I cannot, uh, I will send you a picture to email. You see, I don't have any way to, to share. Uh, they don't show any option for me to share the, uh, I, I'm taking all the pictures I can to show you the things I have. Um, okay, so send a picture, let's see. Uh, they, I will show you my uh, screen, and you see they don't. Um, yeah, take, a, take a picture of it. Let's see what it looks like. Ah, I'm sending to the email. That's okay. No. Sure, sure. I sent both. I took two pictures. Okay, let's take a look at it. But I, I did. Did you got it? Did so you yeah, let me let me share my screen so that everyone can see what you sent to me. Yeah. Oh, you sent me a picture of me. Yes, Where's because the... my screen to show you my screen. What did the? No, just just send us a picture of the. Uh, of ah, your... okay, my work. Okay, my work. I have a question okay, for you. Okay, because... Okay. So let's see settings. I don't know. That, that that button should be here somewhere. I don't know where's what's going on. Let me um my screen is so big, I don't know how to put it small. I have um okay, I will send you uh, two reduce the size. I mean just go to the bottom right of your Microsoft Word and reduce the percentage there. Then you take a ah, picture okay, of the okay. flyer. Ah okay, okay. Ah okay, I see. Okay. I will take a picture and send yeah, take a picture you. Of the phone. Let's see that. Yes, I have a small problem because I cannot. Uh, um, small, no big problem for me. I'm trying to put the uh, pictures. I cannot pick the pictures to to ins to insert in my um, in my. Oh. I could only do the one. I could not do the other ones. And I don't know if everyone should do about water. I did another. Uh, Topic. It doesn't matter. Different topic. It doesn't matter. Ah, okay. So did you send a picture of the flyer? Yes, I did. I did send to your email. Okay, right there. Mm. I, oh, could wow. only, I could only put one picture the other ones I am not being able since yesterday I tried to put the only if I do the picture I cannot have the writing the first one I eliminated the writing to be able to have the pictures and then the other ones I did not I left it only the writing but I'm trying to fix it okay let me see the picture it's coming up here My first writing was in the first box was wash your hands often. Uh, but then when I put the picture, I lost the, the writing.
Okay, so you have two of you. Uh, you guys can see it, right? Uh, Michelle and Shamila. So, all right, so the background is different color. Yes. Uh, you, have the box, you have the boxes there. Yes. You have a picture here, right? Yes. Pictures then where I, I lost the, the writing because I have the same box with the writing, but when I put the picture, I do not have found it and then I erase it. Okay. All right. Uh, let me pull up, let me pull up um, this document and let me explain what I'm trying to explain. Okay. So with Microsoft Word, things can be very rigid. Mm -hmm. For example, if I go and insert a picture, no, not here. If I go online and grab a picture, mm -hmm. let me wait for the picture thing to load. Okay, while I wait for that, let me go. Come on, why are you taking so long? Well, let me just grab a regular picture here. Okay, so. So when you when you have a just a regular picture, right? You see, you can't really drag. You can't. You're not going to. This picture is not going to move, Michelle, right? By default, all I can do is I can shrink it, right? But I can't move it from the left to the right side, or drag it down. It's just all I, I can increase it here, which is ugly, but I can't do anything. So, your text box gives you that opportunity or that option. Right, this text box is a movable object, right? Mm -hmm. You can move this text box around your screen freely. Now, if I want to put this picture, if I want this picture to move freely or to be freely positioned, I can actually right click cut. I can cut the picture, click in here in the text box, right? Click in the text box and paste it in there. Right? Or I can just do a direct insert into the box. But however, however that happens, now this text box controls that picture. So I can place it anywhere. I can place it at the top of the screen, left side, bottom right, bottom left, wherever I want it to be. Now I can grab another, another text box. Here's another text box here. This text box operates independently of this text box. I should be able to move this guy and move this guy independently of each other. So Michelle, what was happening with yours for some reason, looks like they always seem to be moving together, right? And the only way that happens is if you hold down this, key, uh, this object and then you hold down the shift, I mean the control key, and then you press the other one then they both get selected. So something must be gluing them together that you might have done inadvertently. Okay, uh, so maybe you just, go ahead, Elsa. Uh, you know, uh, Professor, my I have the same problem with her because my boxes are moving together, but because I put them from the insert and clip uh, think clip art something like that. I I choose I choose them from insert and um, uh, shapes. I think I don't remember. No, no shapes. Um, insert one thing I shape. did. I put them together. Insert what? Oh, is that insert icons. Yeah, I I did insert. No, I insert out the box together. They come in a shape. Well, oh, the thing like is, a pattern. No, no matter no matter how you, even if you put a shape in there, uh, let's say I put the shape in there, right? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I see what you okay. he, like, like a picture frame, like picture frames, like they're yeah. all like. Nah, that is going to mess up your work. You see, it's yes. like trying to combine. It's like trying to lock multiple text boxes together. Uh huh. Because this object, right? It's it's it, it's in its own, you know, text box. Now I grab mm -hmm. this guy here, and I'm trying to use this. Uh, I don't know. I have to. I don't know how this is going to work. Um. Sometimes the options you select just don't work together. I know we're trying to learn this stuff here, mm -hmm. but sometimes objects don't, don't work together, mm, right? Okay. For, example, for example, if I have this object, I don't need the text box because these objects move freely by themselves. Like all the, um, all the shapes, the mm -hmm. shapes are kind of in a text box by themselves. So they also move freely on like a picture that wouldn't move so freely. Mm. So maybe what you did, well, I can guess, Shamila, that what your classmate did was grab one of those items and try to maybe manipulate each of these items right inside that. Now you see how everything's moving together? So mm -hmm. maybe something, you know, like that, I don't know. Is it possible that you used one of those shape or icony things? Well, maybe. So let's just keep it simple. Just grab a regular text box, right? Just a regular text box. You draw it on the screen, right? Once you draw it, you can move it. You can bend it out of shape, do whatever you want. If you want to insert an object into it, uh, usually pictures work. Even if they want to, if they want a picture, say you just want to make it the background, so I can make it the background. Right, I can make it a background. Uh, so this is what I meant by Michelle, right click. You should be able to right click on any object. If you can't, maybe something else was in the way. Yeah. So I can go to fill and say, okay, I want to fill it with this, uh, you, know, you know, this blue color, this orange color. And now I can right click again and send it, uh, well, let me see. Uh, does it allow me to send it to the back? No. So it's not allowing me to send it to the back. So what I can do is I can click on it and go up here and say, uh, send it backwards. So if the right click doesn't work, just go up here and say, send behind text. So it's gonna put it in the back, right? Now I can move this, so you can, I can move this guy right inside, so it doesn't affect my background. So it doesn't matter how many text boxes I have. I can go back here and grab a couple more. Right? I can have as many text boxes as I want. They should all be able to operate individually. I can give this guy a different shape. Then that guy's yellow there. Give this guy a different shape. Say this guy's um, green. Well. That's not so clear. Uh, maybe light green. Then this guy here, maybe that guy's going to be black. No, uh, the shape is black. So they all operate individually. Right? I can put a picture in this. So if there's a picture, I'm going to, so if I have a circle also, same thing. If I go here and grab a circle, uh, where's my circle? Grab a circle, draw a circle. All right, so I draw a circle there. Now, I can, now, so it depends on what I want to do now. This circle allows me to, you know, if I right click it and I say, uh, I want to, let me see, allows me to edit the text in there. See, I can edit the text there and type, uh, Hello world, I can go in there and select the hello world, and then I can increase the size. 
Mm -hmm. Right? But then it, it, it functions, well, and I can center the text here by clicking on the center option up here. So I can move that box independently of other boxes. Now back to the circle that we were trying to do earlier. If I go back and get a circle, get another circle, and I want to put a picture in here. The picture has to be, let me change this, this color. I just say no feel. Now the picture I'm trying to insert, right, has to be um, a smaller size, right? So let me go grab a picture again. Just gonna grab uh, this picture here. Now the picture is pretty big. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to shrink the picture, make it really small. Now you can see like what I said, the picture is kind of stuck. Michelle, the problem you had, is kind yeah. of stuck at the back there because it's not in any, it's not in any text box by itself. Pictures, so whatever you do, it's not gonna move. <laughs> so I need a text box to be able to move it to come here into the circle. So again, I go into insert, I grab a text box. I put a text box here Then I grab this picture. I can just do a cut and paste, cut, mm. go in here, paste. Now you see that the picture is, has been cut off because it's, it's fit into the text box. So I can decide right here to increase the text box. So this object, this picture is a different item by itself. In fact, this, uh, this picture can't really move inside the box. It's kind of fixed in the box. So the box, I can use the box to move it though, but inside the box, all I can do is I can reduce the size, I can increase the size, but I can move it to the right side of this box or to the left side or to the bottom. So I can use this box to do all the controlling I need. Hmm. I can make it bigger. So you gotta just be precise when you select. So for example, you notice that right here, when I select, I can select the picture by itself or select the box by itself, right? You see that? It's two different selections. So we need to be very precise. If I shrink the text box, see what happens. The text box is shrinking, but the picture is not, right? So I gotta look at that and say, okay, I'm gonna grab the picture and shrink the picture first. And now I'm gonna shrink the text box, right? Mm. Now, when I'm um, happy with that, go ahead, Elsa. I have a question. How I can, uh, because I see the pictures inside of the another text box, text box. how I can insert um, I didn't get, yeah. how did you insert the text, text, one text box inside another text box and then you had a picture inside one, the small and then another big. I tried to do that, I couldn't. Well, it's, it's the same process. It's the same process, mm -hmm. right? Here is the text box, right? Mm hmm Okay, remember the background is also the background is also a text box by itself, right? This background, the text okay. box. Okay. So here's the text box here. So I can grab another text box if I need to, go here, mm -hmm. and draw another one inside right there. Put it right there. Oh. Hmm. Now, so if I click away from there, they are all individual objects. I can move mm -hmm. this white box. I can mm -hmm. move this guy here. Okay. Right. Now, if I want to group them together, now I, I, I grab the, the blue, I grab the, the white box, I hold down my control key. Now you notice that when I do that, it changes what the mouse looks like. Mm. So when I select this, you see the mouse is just like a cross. Mm. Once I hold down the shift key, you're gonna see there's a little plus sign on the mouse. You see that? Mm -hmm. Like a little, mm -hmm like a little X. So I go here mm. and I click on this box now. So now mm. both boxes are highlighted. I can yeah. move both boxes together. You see that? Put oh. them together. Up mm -hmm. and down. Mm -hmm. Up and down. 
And then the same thing, if I want to put a picture inside this white box, same thing. Um, oh. I go here, I insert, got another uh -huh. picture here, insert, mm -hmm. that's another picture. This picture, I can now, you know, I can reduce the size here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Make sure everything, make sure everything fits properly. Mm -hmm. Go here. Where I click away from that, that's an individual object. So mm -hmm. this picture, you see that this picture is inside this text box, and this text box is inside this text box. If I want to, now they're all individual objects, so you notice, yeah, I can move this text box away. But if I want them to be, what's the word Shamila used, glued together, right? Then I got to, I got to grab this picture, this flower. Hold on my control key, click gently on the white box. Okay, well, it's, it's a bit tough now because it's not really seeing the white box by itself. Okay, that's the white box. Hold on the shift key. Okay, well, that's that's a bit hard. It's not allowing me to grab both because I think I... Okay, so here's where things get crazy. All right, actually, no, so I don't even need that because it's already inserted into the into the box, right? So I'm fine with that. So here, I can just right click, copy, right? Click away from there. It's always important to click away from your screen. It's kind of like you refresh everything. Then you paste. Now you notice that it's kind of pasted up here, but because it's in a text box, I can grab that pasted new item and stick it right here, mm -hmm. right? And then, yeah. so with my keyboard keys, it's easier to move things around if I want to move them around. And I can even do a little fancy thing here by, mm -hmm. uh, by go copy again, paste. I just paste it again. I can put it right here. I can do a fancy thing by going to the shapes to get a shadow. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Put a shadow there. Put a shadow there. So they, so you, you can get all those objects to operate independently of each other, Michelle. That is what. That's how you can move them around. But if for some reason everything keeps getting glued together, then you'll it will be no fun. <laughs> you know, it's well, going to be so yeah. annoying. <laughs> yeah, it was a long day Saturday. Let's put it that way. So, so you know, with this this way, it doesn't matter how many shapes you have or how many text boxes, right? You can group them together, they, and they're supposed to be able to move independently of each other, no matter where the shapes are. You should be able to move them back and forth, right, front to back, and all that. Mm -hmm. That's the, I guess, the main trick with, um, or I guess the the way it works in Microsoft Word. And then of course, same thing happens with text. So if you want to type text, well, the only way to type text in Microsoft Word is, is going to start at the top section, like that. There's no other, it must start, it must, you must start typing at the top left hand side of your document. If you want to change all that, you grab a text uh, file, text, uh, sorry, a text box like what I had here earlier, and I type there. Um, you type in there, and when you type, you can do it. You can do anything to what you type. You can increase that uh, typeface there. You can center it in that box. Click on centering here. It gets centered. Right. And of course, if I want to change the background color of this text box to match the background color of my, you know, the main background color here, I just click here and go change the shape field. And now look at that. It looks like it's all merged. And if I take out this outline, shape outline, no outline, now it looks like I typed it directly on that on that surface, but we know it's all a trick, right? 
Yeah, so I, I guess the main thing to get out of this is to be able to move individual objects independent of other objects. If you can do that successfully, you know, maybe the way you move your mouse or something, then you can arrange any number of shapes on the screen, right? Any text you want, text sizes. I mean, I can say if I want to increase the text size here, right, just make it as big as I want. I just have to expand the text box. I can get this out of the way. Just have to expand the text box. So Elsa, you think that you can go back and conquer? I, I will work on that. I think I can do that. <laughs> um, I, I saw the video two times, the number one, number two, but it is that I couldn't do much then, <laughs> much more that I did. Yeah, of course, if you can, if you can move all those objects individually, then it's going to be extremely hard, if not impossible, for you to you know, do anything meaningful, right, um, in Microsoft Word. So you can use Microsoft Word to design flyers and things like that, and also use them, use it as a, you know, use it to set up a, pro a proper kind of like a document, okay? So one last thing we should do before we go, something useful, I guess, is to set up a resume page, right? So when you go online and you do a search for resume examples, let's see what that looks like. We might see it all kinds of different fancy examples here. Um, okay, this looks like a Jamila, would you think that that's an okay resume, the way it's laid out? It's okay? It's not, it's a bit blurred, but we're just concerned about how it's laid out. You know, education. Mm, there's a little bit too much going on, if you ask me. <laughs> on the lines and... Say that again? Yeah. There's a little bit too much going on. Yeah. I don't think they need the lines. Uh, yeah, it looks like the lines the lines draw your attention away from the info, right? Yeah, like it's too much. That's the one that is No, that's too so simple. This is like the opposite end, right? Right. <laughs> Okay, this looks interesting. How about that? Way to make a statement with your name. There you go, right? <laughs> Remember my name. I yeah. apply for the job. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's so let's uh we can do this in like ten minutes. Let's do this. So so let's go in here and get a new document. All right. So, so you can just you know put any name you like. I'm just gonna say um, Alex Adams, and say Alex wants uh, you know to make a, a really good impression there also. But well, that's a bit too big. So we can put Alex there Son and say, bitch. "All right, put that over there." All right. So that, there's this there's this line you notice here. This line. So that's that's one of the shapes. They so go to shape, and you just got to draw this, uh, you know, kind of as carefully as you can across the screen, and just give it the eye test to be sure that it's because it, you don't want to do it crooked, right? So. Give it the eye test and then. Okay, that looks good to me. So you can always, you know, you can grab the shape, you know, 
carefully. Or, actually, and if you are going to do that, it's just to use the minus sign key and draw a line, and it just becomes a line, right? So the minus sign, just do a lot of, or oh, like the, you know, dash. Once you type a couple of dashes and hit enter, it becomes a line. So you don't have to deal with the graphics and all that stuff. So if I want to put an address there, well, that's too big. I'll make it a bit smaller in a second. All right, so I want to make that a bit smaller. Let's reduce, maybe take off the bold. And then maybe I want to put a phone number there. Um, yeah, so let's see. So something like that might, um, might be okay as a header. And then you go to, well, they have summary here, so we can do that also. Maybe just give it a space. The summary, I'm just going to type a bunch of, uh, let's see. A bunch of Google the gook. Right? Just blank, blank, blank. Actually, I, I, I prefer to um I prefer to use actual text as much as possible. Or something called um Lorem Ipsum. You guys heard of Lorem Ipsum? It's like junk text used for um you know placeholders. You know, it doesn't really doesn't really mean anything, but it looks like actual text. So if you just do search for Lorem Ipsum, they're like placeholder text. So I'm just going to copy this part here, and then so I paste it right here. So it looks like actual text, but it just I hear it's actually I hear it's an actual language, not gibberish, but doesn't matter. It's just called placeholder text. So say this is going to be 12 um, font size. So that's my summary. Then I go to my next section there, which is um, highlights. Highlights. So hi. Highlight. Well, I'm just going to paste the same thing that I paste, pasted down there. Highlight. So we can make this uh, like subheadings or headings kind of bold. Let's see. I think there's too much space up here. Yeah. Yeah. So now the highlights, you know, there's the highlights are all um, bullet list. So I'm going to stick a bullet list in there and just hit actually. Yep. And just, you know, just go randomly there. And I think that should be fine. You don't need too many. You have two columns here. I don't know that we need two columns. I mean, that's a lot of highlights, but I guess if you have a lot of highlights, you might as well highlight the highlights, right? Mm -hmm. so, so just a couple will be fine. And then we go to experience. 
um, wait a minute, this summary looks, this is 14, the font size and highlights here is 12. So maybe you want to be uniform with the, you know, with the headings there. So experience, Um, yeah, so with experience, you probably want to have um, like a date, maybe. So we say, I don't know, 2010 to 2012, 2012. You say, um, I'm just going to go randomly here. Okay, and then you write you write the little story there, right? Of the stuff you want to talk about. So this is twelve. No, that's twelve. Twelve, twelve. So that's gonna be also bullet list. Have a few things here, a few things here few things here and a few things here. So that's going to be bold. All right, so now to make it easier, copy and paste works. So I'm just going to copy this section here, right? Copy, oops, copy there and paste that down here. So I'm continuing my experience 2012 to say 2017, I'll say CVS Pharmacy, like the CVS that was right next to the target, I just moved, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, or maybe even the CVS that was in the target, right? I got a job in the CVS in the target. So how about yeah. that? <laughs> so I have a few things here, a few things here. So let's see. So that's pretty much, you know, how, well, here they have it a little bit differently uh, with the particular place, but, you know, you have some freedom of how that can be laid out but a, a good um i mean what i'm actually what i'm used to is summary i was told by some expert that it's a good idea to have your summary first your summary is like a summary of everything that's going to be in the document right so you know how they flip through this things like so quickly Right, they just catch everything in your summary. They don't have to go all the way down, but um, I don't know. So this would give a you know a good idea, and then let's say you you know you do all your experience. That let's say one more thing here. Let's say this was um. Twenty eighteen, and this is okay. Now, well, some people say your oh, resume should be one page. Well, if you don't have a lot of stuff, it is one page. My resume is quite long. <laughs> it's probably like five pages. So, but your cover letter, your cover letter should probably be one page, right? If you have multiple pages in your cover letter, um, that's a book. <laughs> you know, that's a book. All right, so let me just keep this short. You know, I'm just going to keep it there. 
uh, what I do there. All right. Let me just reduce this a little bit here and cut this down a little bit here. All right, so let's say we had one more spot here for, I think everybody has hobbies in the OHUA, I guess. They list a few things there. Do it. Education is missing. Wait, who does? Okay. So Uh, what about swimming has to do with pharmacy work? I don't know. You've got to put it there anyway. But that's too big. I think it's supposed to be 12. And reading. All right. So that's it. That was, it. That was everything you had, right? Um, a good way to actually yeah, here's a uh, I love that's actually I mean you don't want any distraction just want to go straight to the point and that's it nothing fancy so a good way to preserve a a document is to save it as a PDF, right? If I sent you this document this way, right, you could edit it and make some changes, right? But if I want to make sure that it can never be edited when I send it to you, I go to File, Save As, and I go here and I save it as a PDF. I got to change the file name to a PDF. So I say uh, resume, uh, Alex Adams, just using that example, and I save it. Now watch this, it's gonna open up as a PDF and it's, you, can't, you can't edit it, right? So exactly how I created that document is how you're gonna get it. If I gave you the Word document, well, you could go in, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't believe HR people do that, <laughs> right? Uh, but you know, just say, for example, um, who knows? I don't know what. Maybe the HR person goes in here and says, you know, trying to be funny and says age, you know, something like that, <laughs> right? You will, you will hope that doesn't happen, right, Michelle? So, but anyway. When you save the document, you save it in the PDF so it can be edited. You're sure no changes have been made. And also, PDF documents are universal on devices. So if you have a phone, a cell phone, a tablet, a laptop, when you, when you read a PDF document, it's kind of consistent in its layout. But if you send a Microsoft Word, Somebody might not have it on your, you know, it might just convert it to something else and it may not look like what you, what you intended. So for PDF files are universal in its, you know, in how it's, you know, on almost a hundred percent of devices, they read it exactly how it was saved. Right. So if that's something that you want to do where you want to preserve the layout of the document, right. Uh, even if it's a, even if it's a, what you might call it, it's a flyer. You can save anything as a PDF. If I, I mean, I can save it as a PDF if I you know, wanted to, same thing. It will preserve all the options that I had there. I, you know, I, it would be like that. And you couldn't edit it. You couldn't move anything around. It's a PDF. It's a flat file. It merges everything, 
right? Um, yeah. So, yeah, so I think that if we are able to successfully complete that flyer and also something like this resume, you know, with bullets and knowing how to set this up, um, I think that, you know, we'll be pretty much, okay, here's one more thing I should add about bullets. So let's say I had, I don't know if that will be applicable, but let's say I had some bullets in here. Like I had an extra bullet in here. Well, here's what I will do. I will use this, it's called the increase indent. I will use the indent, right, to indent it. So if for some reason, there have to be sub bullets in your document. Maybe not necessarily in a resume, but maybe in some other document, then you could do that. Of course, if you wanted to make your bullet list a number, you ch just change, choose the numbers. And if it had sub bullets in there, then you use that increase indent, it would give you, you know, bullets there. So if that was something you're trying to do, right? So being able to format your document, um, you know, and, you know, be able to create, you know, some kind of um, nice flyers, display items. I think um, once you can accomplish this too, so hopefully we can work on that before Wednesday and then maybe Wednesday uh, do so, go, so, you know, do a bit more. And then next week uh, we're going to PowerPoint. Yeah. PowerPoint is a, a much shorter, you know, we spend very much, very less, just, just less time on PowerPoint. But the bulk of our time after next week we spend on Excel. Because some people think that Excel is like the worst thing since, since worst things started being a thing. <laughs> right? <laughs> Yeah, people get terrified of Microsoft Excel, but I'm sure you're gonna like it because that's a strong skill to add value to your profile. Elsa, go ahead. You're muted. Elsa, you're muted, we can't hear you. Sorry, uh, I'm asking yep. if I, I should send my work to your email. Well, I want you to, I think uh, yourself and Michelle, you guys have a little bit of work to do. Okay, um, I will. So if you, well, I'll post this lecture so you can go over this lecture if you need to. So you can go and finish up the flyer and, you know, I mean, you want to be proud of what you did for yourself. Right. Good. So, I mean, I don't necessarily grade anything, but the work you do, you should save that work for yourself because those are skills that you learned and you don't want to forget those skills. Right. OK. So I mean, we only have two grades in this class, pass or fail. If you demonstrate okay. that you know what you are doing here, then you pass, you get a certificate. Okay, if you don't good. demonstrate it, if you don't <laughs> demonstrate it, then you didn't do it was a waste of time for yourself and myself and yes. well, hasta la, hasta la vista, baby, right? Hasta la vista. <laughs> so, so I will do my best. I, yeah. I will. I will. Yeah. So, why you, so why you, if you do it by Wednesday, Elsa, that we can take a look at it again, um, and then we'll move on to something else. Okay, I'll work on it because I was, I was, I will work on it today and send it today before midnight to you, but. If you give me until Wednesday, mean it's better for me because I can watch. Yeah, the Wednesday again. fine. Yeah, so you can watch this again, and then mm -hmm. um, we'll we'll continue on Wednesday. Okay, thank you. Wednesday will be six right. p.m. Six o'clock on Wednesday. Wednesdays we spend okay. a long time on Wednesday. Okay. That's Monday okay. just short, 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 just to see what everybody's doing. Okay. But Wednesday we spend a lot more time. That's okay. Yeah. Okay, that's all I got, Shamila. So maybe maybe you can use some of this, you know, things we went over 
maybe you want to, you know, jazz up your fly a little bit more, you're free to do that. Okay. Sure. The other thing is just the control, being able to control everything. Um, and maybe trying your hands out on, you know, on a resume or... You know, you know I, I, it's funny that we're doing a resume thing because I was actually working on mine earlier today. <laughs> so when I actually completed it, I'm like, wow, this is funny. <laughs> okay. But, well, yes. That's fantastic then. Um, so, okay, I think Michelle kind of got lost there and just came back. All right, so let's hear from Michelle and then we can be out of here. Michelle, you made it back. Yeah, Michelle, you there? Yeah, sorry, my battery died. So we're done. Uh, so basically, if you go back to your flyer and try to recreate the flyer, um, you know, I think, like I said to Elsa, the work you do here is for, obviously, it's for your personal development, right? You get one grade in this class, it's a pass or a fail. Pass means you demonstrated that you got to, you know, you understand and know how to use the tools. Fail means we both wasted our time here, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, so, you know, when you pass the course, you get a certificate saying that you're proficient in the use of Microsoft Excel programs, which is solid to have your resume. So I think with this video, I'm gonna put this video up. You can go over it and, you know, maybe see where you made mistakes and try to recreate the flyer and maybe even try your hands at, you know, brushing up a resume or something. Okay. Okay, so I missed kind of that. So we can we have time to redo the flyer, right? I wanna Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. So you have time to redo the flyer and then we'll see what you got by Wednesday again. Okay. Cause I think it's gonna be I mean it actually looks kind of I mean, I feel like it'll be fun once those little problems don't happen. Yeah. Um, like when you start so from scratch. Just make yeah. sure that, you know, you don't have any, you know, objects attaching themselves unnecessarily, right? You just got to watch everything from scratch. If you want a box, it should be just one box there. Now you have two boxes, just two boxes, you know, a circle, just three items, right? Because sometimes things just get picked up because we're not so, you know, clear on what, you know, how to move around. But mm -hmm. maybe now you have some kind of, you know, more, you know, maybe better direction, hopefully. Yeah. Okay. All right, so Wednesday, we'll take a look at what we got again, and then we'll go into maybe a little bit more advanced Microsoft Word stuff. It will just be the same thing, but, you know, just the vastness of the program. Okay. And then next week, we'll work on uh, PowerPoint and then we'll be ready to go to Microsoft Excel, which takes, you know, a good amount of time. Okay. Uh, Professor Banjo, see Thank if you. you can mail me a copy of this. Uh, it's all in the video, right? I rather because, that you go uh, to the video and try to recreate what we did for the yeah. last class and this class. Yeah, what I'm saying okay. is that uh, I still um, could not um, assess it on the my QC uh, portal. Oh, oh, you mean oh, oh, you mean the videos? Yes, because uh, oh, I, wow. sent, I called them on the phone, so I'm not going to be bothering them. I called them okay, on the I'll phone. Send, okay, I'll send you the. Yep, I'll send you the links. No problem. Yeah. yeah. If you don't, if you don't hear from me, please just send me an email to remind me. But once they are done, because it takes a while for the videos to be ready. Yeah. So if you don't get it, just email me and I'll send it over to you. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Good night. Good Thank night. you. And talk to you on Wednesday. Okay. Okay. All right, Thank Samuel. you so much. Right, Thank everybody. you. Okay, good night, everyone. Okay. Thank you.
All right. Okay, bye. Thank Jamela, you. I might be calling you. <laughs> Feel free. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. Yeah. Good night. Yeah. Yeah. Okay.